Here to now continue the discussion and talk about what we can expect in the coming days is Jamil Jaffer. He is the founder and executive director of the National Security Institute. Jamil, thank you for coming on tonight. Absolutely, Kelsey. First, there have been several Americans that are still unaccounted for and just less than 200 hostages still not included in these rounds of released hostages. What about them and what is next? You know, it's a great question. I mean, the question whether we can continue to extend the ceasefire and continue to do these sort of three for one swaps uh, is an important one. Uh, but this ceasefire won't or this this pause in the fighting won't go on forever. Um, at the same time, I think everyone is hopeful that we see more hostages released um, and that that allows for more time and space to find a negotiated solution uh, to the current conflict. Well, Hamas is also now saying it wants to extend this four, four day ceasefire with Israel. And Israel is also open to this idea, but the question is, is this a good idea? Is this, is this going to be a time when Hamas is going to, to try to re-strategize? Well, that's exactly it. They are gonna try to resupply. They're gonna try and fortify their positions. They know where these Israelis are striking. They're gonna try and move out of those spaces. So that's one of the challenges that the Israeli cabinet and the prime minister has to negotiate and decide amongst how many hostages can he get back, how many trades can he do before the ceasefire or this pause in the fighting uh, really results in Hamas regaining some ground um, and being able to push back aggressively. That's the hard thing uh, to figure out here. At the end of the day, everyone wants as many hostages out as possible, as quickly as possible. What will it take to get all of these hostages freed and how much longer could it take? Well, look, I think that's what's, what people are hopeful for. Maybe there's a larger solution here that allows for the release of a significant chunk of hostages, again, likely in exchange for a large number of Palestinian prisoners uh, from the Israeli jails, um, and that may actually result in, in unlock things for some period of time. Hamas, though, realizes that they are, they are benefited by stretching this thing out. They're the ones who are looking to keep these hostages held as long as possible, particularly the Americans, and they're the ones who really benefit from more Palestinian deaths in the territories. Israel actually loses ground every time a Palestinian civilian woman or child dies. And so that's the challenge here, is that Hamas is actually looking for more civilian deaths, not less. Well, in your opinion, do you believe these hostage release efforts could lead to a permanent ceasefire or potentially end the conflict? You know, I think it's hard to see how that happens. At the end of the day, Israel wants and, and legitimately wants Hamas taken down uh, to pieces and its leadership to give up. Unless they're willing to do that, which there is no sign that they are, it seems unlikely that the longer term conflict will be solved by these hostage trades. Jamil Jaffer, thank you for your time tonight. Thanks, Kelsey. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.